Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So just a quick update this morning, this afternoon. I don't know when this is going to go out, but as soon as this goes out, then the video will go out. But very exciting. We have a new thingy my bob. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? App? No, not app. Function? Is it a function? A new function. No, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, we've got a new thing in design space, which is Monogram Maker. I'm so excited by this because monograms, I love making monograms, but they can, some of them can be really easy to put together. Um, sometimes you can just spend hours looking for the monogrammy bits. Trying to find the right font can sometimes be a little bit difficult. So Cricut have added this to Design Space to make it quick and easy to make a monogram. So it is for desktop only, so that's Windows or Mac. It's a seven day rollout. So within the next seven days, your desktop will do a update and you'll see that the monogram maker is then available. And it is for Access users, so it is going to be a perk of Access subscribers. If you're not subscribed to Access, you'll still be able to play with the Monogram Maker and you'll still see it, you just won't be able to continue to make it. So only Access subscribers will be able to make something with the Monogram Maker. So before we get into it, the basics of it is desktop only, so Windows, Mac, seven day rollout, access subscribers will be able to use and create with it, non-access subscribers will only be able to play with it. So the monogram maker is going to be down our side tab here, and we can open up monogram, and it will bring us to a little screen like this. And this is fantastic because there's so many options. So the first thing is you can obviously put in your initials and it'll take up to four initials. Now, I'm not gonna get into the whole monogram argument of whether the first name or the middle name or the last name goes in the middle. Like, it's mind boggling to me. Like, I like my monogram to be in order, so J-E-S. That's the order of my letters. So that's the order I want it to be on my monogram. I don't care if that's right or wrong. That's the way I like it. And we can have this argument all day long. There are so many different views on this. And actually, I don't know which is the right one. So if you do know, then obviously let me know below. But I like to keep it in its official order. So I'm going to do J-E-S. I'm currently set to capitals, but if I switch my capitals off, it will still bring it in as capitals. We've then got operation type, so we can choose to have it as cut only or cut and draw, but once we've created our monogram, we can actually play with it a little bit more. So even though you've got the option of cut and then cut and draw, obviously with draw, that opens up the foil tool, it opens up the deboss, it opens up pen, which obviously is draw, and engrave as well. So I'm just going to select any. We've then got two types of monogram categories. We've got classic, and within that you've got four subcategories, and then we've got thematic, and within that we've got five subcategories. So we'll start with classic. Now you have to choose one of their textiles. And what Cricut have said is that they have tried to find the best textiles that are going to work best with the monogram maker. The monogram maker is set in terms of the fonts that it's using and the kind of images that it's using. But the whole point of it is that it's quick and easy. If you want to create a really elaborate monogram, then there's already the tools in Design Space to do that with all the different fonts and all the different images. The point of the monogram maker is that it's something that you can create within minutes. So we can go through, we can see all the different options that are available. And there are a lot of options available. 
You can see here that this is obviously a drawer, so we could change it to foil, we could do foil and cut, we could do deboss, engrave, like there's so, so many options. Some of them, as you see, will change the organization of your letter. So even though I've done JES, this one's done JSE. And here's the interesting thing. If I then change my letters round, so I do J, S, E, it's going to do it as J, E, S this time. So different monograms react differently with your letters. I'm trying to get your head around this first thing in the morning. And yep, some of these are really cute. You'll notice some of them, they don't then have the extra style options like the others do so it is very dependent on the text style that you choose as to then your background style if you like we've then got elegant i mean there are some really lovely ones in here not all of them kind of look right but what cricket have said is they've tried to be as diverse as possible and tried to find the ones that they think are going to be the most appealing those that are going to work with as many letters and as many letter combinations as well. Because that's really important because one will look great with three letters of a certain letterage and then you change the letters and that one perhaps doesn't look so great. So what Cricket have said is that the whole point of this is to simplify it. Oh, that one does not look good. But see, that one's really cute. There's so many options. And you've got vintage as well. So again, we've just got a good selection of fonts. And we've got your classics as well. So this is kind of your classic monogram. If we then move across to thematic, we've got all different backgrounds and text options. So again, we can create something like that. And then we can come in and choose our lettering. I mean, some of these are really pretty. Oh, I really like that one. That's a very pretty one. So is that one, actually. I do like these thematic ones. Uh, you've then got decorative. Again, we've got a whole range of options. We've got occasions. And some of these are just a bit fun. They're just a little bit fun. Like I love the snowflake one. There's a Christmas tree, pineapple, pumpkin. Everyone loves a good pumpkin. Great for graduation. So yeah, they're just a bit fun. There's interests. Uh, so we got some paw print ones, a flamingi. We got a turgol. You got a hook for fishing hairdresser i really like these um heart ones i think those are super cute and then we've got sports as well and i do like that they put a normal football in there i think that was very considerate of them and obviously the hope is that in time they'll add to these so they'll add more images once i've created my monogram and you can see like here it says it's just a cut this one's a cut and draw this one's a cut and draw so let's choose a cut and draw one actually. So let's go with this one and we can then add to canvas. Okay, so ignore what's going on down here. Design Space is obviously having a bit of a moment. So I've brought my monogram in and I can then decide kind of what I want to do with it. So I could leave this as a basic cut and put it onto cardstock and just leave that as it is. I could even hide it. So I'm just using my monogram. And of course, I can change that to say a foil, or I could, you know, I could do a deboss with it. Like the options are endless, and it's the same with all the other elements as well. So I could change this from a pen to a foil, and then this one I could change from a pen to a deboss. Again, with this one, we could change it to an engrave. I can also add to it if I want to. So if I want to then go into images and let's just grab a heart. I could grab me a little heart like so. Let's make that a wee bit smaller. 
turn it round we can change it to a foil and then just attach them together so that it then stays within that monogram so there's nothing to say I can't add to it I can also because it's in layers if I detach it I can take away as well so say for example I didn't want these little berries I could just hide them or delete them equally if I've got something in a layer that I'm not happy with I don't know, I don't like the lines on this bit here. I can obviously open up my contour and I could contour away those lines, like so. So I've got lots of options. Once I've created it, I can really play with it. What I can't do is change the font on it. But what I could do, if I wanted to, is say, okay, I really like this snowflake one but none of the fonts were kind of doing it for me they weren't really working for me and actually what I like is I like this one but it didn't have the option to be with the snowflake so then I can get a little bit clever so I can make this a wee bit bigger so if I actually ungroup this and then I detach it it then separates my text from the rest of my monogram so I can then actually delete it. I have to de I have to ungroup it and detach it first. But I can then delete that. And then I can add this one in here. So I have got so many options with the monogram maker. Just because this one is not available as a snowflake does not mean that I cannot use it in the snowflake. And equally, if I wanted to add a font... I don't know, let's do this one, which is Cute Lion, and I do J-E-S, I can then obviously add that in to this background bit. So it gives you a base, it gives you a base to then be able to really play with it which is something that I love. I love that. I think it gives you somewhere to start. It kind of means that you can, because sometimes with monograms, you can spend hours just looking, but it gives you a good starting block. You can say, right, I really like that font that's in there, but I want it with the snowflake so I can bring both in and then just do my thing, use the, the ungroup, detach. I can use my contour to change things. I can make them a cut. I can have them as a draw, foil, deboss, engrave. Like, you can go crazy. I think that this is a great addition. I really do. I really like the idea of the monogram maker. You know, it just gives you a quick starting point. And then if you want to make something quick and easy, you can. And then if you want to elaborate with it, you can. And it gives you ideas as well, which I really like. So as I say, it's a seven day rollout. So it is for desktop, so Windows, Mac. And within the next seven days, you'll get an update and it will become available to you. If you're an Access member, then obviously you can use it and go to make it and create your monograms. If you're not an Access subscriber, you'll be able to play with it in the canvas. You won't just won't be able to go to make it. And I personally love Access. I have been a Cricut user for many, many years now, and I've always had Access. And I think it's fantastic. It's not for everyone, but I think it's fantastic. And I like the way they're doing this. Like, some things they're bringing in are available to everyone. So Offset, that's available to everyone. Curve Tool, that's available to everyone. And then these kind of extra things like the background removal and the monogram, they are subscription specific. And I like that. I think they're trying to be fair and they're trying to be as kind of fair and compromising as they possible, possibly, bleh, bleh, possibly can be. I think that this is fantastic. It's great fun. It's 
nice and simple to use it gives you two options so you can either use it to create something really quick and simple or you can use the designs as a base and then kind of really play with them change them it gives you so many options i'm very excited for this let me know in the comments below what you think if you're excited i'm very excited so Next seven days, hopefully you'll get an update and you'll see the monogram maker. Can't wait to see what you all think about of it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.